Hi and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn about database autocross property in SQL Server. Do we need to set this property true or false? And these are the contents in this video. Let us see one by one. The first is autocross property should be on or off. When autocross property is set to on, that is true for a database, SQL Server will be closing the user database after it is being used. The database will move in and out of recovery state frequently. And we can also see in SQL Server error log that uh, the information like uh, starting of database, database name is frequently written into the SQL Server error log. I will show this error log in a while. Okay. And when it is turned off, I mean auto close property is set to false database will remain open even after the user exit. Okay. Generally for a production or non-production SQL Server databases across all versions and editions, the option of auto close property will be set to off. And the reason for it we'll see in the next slides. Okay. So how we are going to check this auto close option for a database? We have two methods here. One you can use SQL query, other you can use graphical user interface. I will show you both of these methods. Okay. So let us switch to SSMS. Here I have total six databases. Let me check for this database MyDB whether auto close property is set to on or off. So this is the database. Let me execute this statement. So this is for a single database I am checking. So it is 1. It means auto close property is on for this database. If I want to check for all the databases that are present in this instance, whether auto close property is on or off. So once I execute this statement, you will get the list of databases that are set to auto close property on in this instance, in this single instance. This is how you check using SQL queries. And if you want to check using graphical user interface, just go to this database, right click on it and select properties. In this database properties window, go to options. In this option, you have this auto close property. This is true. If you want to set it false, you can just select this and click OK. And if you check now, this is wrong. So my DB database auto close property is now set to false. If I execute this statement, it will be zero. Okay. You can also turn off this auto close property as to on and off using SQL query also. We have just now seen how to do it using graphical user interface. Now let's see SQL query. We are going to just use alter database statement. So I am going to turn on the auto close property on for my DB database. It is done. Now check this, execute the statement and you will see both databases my DB and DB123. Okay. In this way you can alter the database property, auto close property true on or off. Now let's see what are the advantages and disadvantages of this auto close property. So when you have a 32 bit SQL server that contains a many number of databases, then memory will be a big constraint. In that scenario, you can enable this auto close option. That means you can make it true to conserve the memory resources required to keep database open when there is no application is using the database. Because when a database is open, there are some default memory allocations that are required. Coming to disadvantage, when you make this auto close property as on, database will be frequently moving in and out of recovery state. So what database when database is closed, SQL Server will be flushing the data cache and execution plans from the server memory, which in turn affects query performance. Hence, it is not a best practice to turn on auto close option on for a SQL Server database in production and non-production environments. And it all depends upon your requirements whether you make this database auto close property on or off. 
okay and let us see few more points about this auto close option this option is not available in a contained database and uh, only databases with auto close option disabled that that means when auto close property is off or set it to false only those database can be added to availability groups and database mirroring requires auto close option set to off when this auto close property is set to on some columns in this catalog view will return null because database will be unavailable to retrieve the data to resolve this issue we have to use use database option in order to start the database this is a database level setting and hence it cannot be configured at sql server level and when this option is on an operation that initiates an automatic database shutdown clears the plan cache for the instance of sql server and we already know that clearing the plan cache causes a recompilation of all subsequent execution plans and can cause a sudden temporary decrease in query performance so that is why it is not suggested to keep this option on in production servers and uh, let me show you the error log sql server error, error log where it records starting database uh, information so go to this sql server agent error logs and you open this you can see you can see starting up database okay so for frequently you can see the starting up database database name has been written to the error log frequently because every time when we query the database or when we use database the database will be turned on or it will be open okay so this is how it will be written so i hope you have understood the concept and uh, when to set this option on and off right so i hope you have enjoyed the video if you have any questions or queries please do comment in the below that's all in this video thanks for watching the video please do like share and subscribe for more videos